first of all, thank you and welcome to new subscribers. And um, yes, if you subscribed because you were interested in a free reading, um, I just wanted to say, just a quick catch up before I do the reading, just a couple of quick announcements. First of all, I am going to be doing some more free readings, um, but they will be a competition. I'm going to do two free readings at the end of July, and I might make that a regular thing. So, I, but I just thought it would be nice to do some readings that would allow me to reach more people, to help more people. Um, so I've split these up in signs, so I'm doing readings for all signs and um, for the month of July. But what I'll do is I will look to see which of the videos has been the most popular. In other words, which ones received the most comments and likes and things like that. And then from that video, if everyone just makes sure that they comment under the video, when they comment, they do mention whether or not they'd like to have a free reading. If you want to comment just for commenting, that's great, that's fine as well. Um, but what I'll do is I will choose from the most popular video, I'll take all the names of people who've said they'd like a reading and I'll put them in a hat at the end of July and then I will do three free readings which will be posted on the channel. So if you've looked at the free readings um, playlist and you've seen those, you'll see what I mean, you'll know what I'm talking about and you could have one of those. Those are on display because they're completely free and that was kind of the agreement. Um, but if you do book a private reading, all the details are under the um, video in the description box. That is completely private. You get a completely private link sent to you or it might be audio or it might be on Skype. But either way, if you do book a reading with me, it is completely private. But if I do one of these um, giveaway things and you win a free reading, that will be posted on the channel. That's it. Thank you so much um, again for coming to watch the video and I hope you have a fantastic July and I'll speak to you soon. Hello lovely Gemini, this is your um, month ahead look at July 2017. Um, your Angel Scope and Tarot Scope reading with a quick astrological overview. So, um, Gemini, the sun's in Cancer for most of July, and for you, that is your, where are we, second house. Okay, so, that is going to be, um, so as Cancer is very much about nurturing, very much about emotional well-being, um, the past, childhood issues, even home, home and family, it's going to be um, very much a time for you to be focusing on how well you nurture yourself in terms of the value you place upon yourself, your time, um, even your work. So what are your resources? Because the second house is all about what you value, what you have, tangible physical resources, finances, um, things like that, but also, you know, how much you value what you put out into the world. So it could be that you, in order to, um, you could be looking at investments, you could be looking at um, how you are, how much your material reality is actually currently allowing you to take care of yourself, to be good to yourself, to, you know, look, pay attention to your own emotional nurturing. That could be very much a theme at the moment. So I'm going to shuffle the cards and we're going to be looking at Gemini. Um, and how Gemini can get a greater sense of value, self-value and feeling cared for um, in both senses, in the material sense and in the emotional sense. I hope that makes sense, okay. gosh. Okay, so first of all, we'll do the Celtic cross. So you've got base chakra, oh, perfect. All right, so base chakra issues, it very much is for you at the moment, Gemini. Um, the cards are saying there is a sense of um, really, really focusing on all those base chakra issues, things to do with 
um, survival, to do with uh, feeling secure in the world, to do with stability, to do with feeling grounded, to do with feeling um, a part of the world, a part of the earth and having your circumstances, uh, your material circumstances support the reality that you want to live and that you want to create. Feeling um, that you're in control of those circumstances, that they're not running you anymore, that you have everything that you need in order to go forward in life and that you're not just scraping by from day to day, just surviving paycheck to paycheck in survival. So it's very much an issue for you that you are wanting to really get your ducks in a row and feel that you're not constantly running after um, the bus. I don't know, I, that's not even a thing, is it? But that's what I'm seeing. It's like you're constantly trying to keep up, trying to keep up, trying to keep up. You want to be on the bus, preferably in the driving seat, <laughs> is the sense that I'm getting. So that, that's the image that my guides were showing me. All right, great. So let's see what crosses you. Victory and success. So it looks as if, Gemini, you are in a time where <laughs> you could actually be experiencing the vision of that at the moment. You could actually be seeing that that is not only a possibility, but it is the most likely um, set of energies around you at the moment. That's a great little duo, isn't it? You know, I want to be happy. I want to be secure in my material reality. I want to have my material concerns taken care of. There you go. Victory and success, says the universe. It's possible. It is in within the realms of possibility for you now. For a lot, for the first time in a very, very long time for many of you. Okay, because there have been some ups and downs. Um, okay, so what, what are you manifesting now? Okay, so we've got heartache and loss. So there is a sense that at the moment, um, it's like you don't get everything at once, do you? So this is starting to look as if it's a possibility. And yet over you, there is a sense of having lost something. This is a very emotional card. This is it definitely feels as if it's not necessarily pertaining to your material reality, but it's much more to do with some kind of emotional loss or feeling as if you've lost something or you're about to lose something or you've lost your grip on a situation that really meant something to you and that you're only just beginning to see that. And, and the irony that, you know, it's just at a time when you're starting to feel like maybe you don't have to be so obsessed with um, how poor things have been in the material uh, circumstances for a little while. Not for everyone, for some of you. Okay, so let's see what's at the base. Sacral Chakra, the card of creativity and manifestation. So you are all about this, really, at the moment. You're all about... Um, you're kind of pregnant. <laughs> Not literally, but there is a sense in which you are... Oh, didn't put the timer on there. Okay, your reading's going to be a bit longer, Gemini. Um, all right, so, yeah, there's a sense in which you are full of creativity, full of um, something that you want to give birth to, and that's another reason that you probably want to be supported, that you want to have the time, you want to have the opportunity to actually create the things that you want to create and do them in the way that you want to do them. And manifest a greater reality is what I'm sensing. Manifest a greater reality altogether. So not sort of doing things piecemeal and having a little window of opportunity to do this thing that you really love and that thing that you really love and then having to go back to the grind. Wanting to upgrade your entire reality this is what you're manifesting at the moment and my eyes are being drawn to that too on the card and there's almost a longing there that you know I wish I could do it with someone I wish I didn't have to do it on my own but things at the moment just seem to be in a bit of a state of flux a bit of um, there's a lot of change around you um, just go with the flow just hold on to that roller coaster ride and just um, let it ride itself out is the sense that I've got I always get lots of images just bear with me okay so the phase that you're moving out of new beginnings all right so there's been a huge shift recently a huge shift that's actually although it might feel a little bit heartbreaky um, it's giving you the opportunity to see what you really want and to get in touch with yourself again um, and this new beginning, I feel it could be a new beginning in finances, which is why you've got this victory and success thing, something that you didn't expect, something out of the blue, but it feels as if there, there are 
other doors that may have closed. It could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be, you know, the, we're all in this powerful period of shift and change at the moment where we are being asked to become the brightest version of ourselves so some things that don't serve our highest good are being removed. So you're being asked to see this new beginning as exactly that, to see it as a very powerful time for you to come into your own, to come into just really being yourself from that place. Then you can make all sorts of new decisions. Things can change, things can evolve. You know, it's time for you to let go of holding on, basically. It's not for you to see at the moment whether things will or will not work out emotionally the way you expect them to, but it is definitely the time for you to let go of not letting go, if that makes sense. Let go, let the chips fall where they may, because sometimes the things that you hold on to are not for your highest good anyway. So embrace the new beginning, that's the period that you're moving out of. And you're moving into a phase of spiritual union. So if you've had to let go of a relationship, and this has impacted your sense of emotional well-being, um, even though things are looking better, kind of um, in the material sense, just know that what you've let go of is going to make way for something that is a much better union. You've got the card of spiritual union. How perfect is that? So, in other words, if something has just ended. It's making way for something much, much better. Whether that is um, the possibility for this old, the old connection to evolve into a more spiritual union, which does allow both people to grow and flourish and to be themselves and to come together as two separate wholes, or whether it's a completely different energy that comes in. Again, it's not for you to know just yet. But what's important for you to know is that there is always going to be, you're not, you can't be, how can you be alone among seven, what is it, eight billion people? You can't be alone. It's sometimes it's hard to actually carve out the time and space to be alone when you need to be. So have faith that the right and perfect thing is coming in and will happen for you at just the right and perfect time. So your attitude to what's happening at the moment, choosing wisely, looking around at everything that's in your reality and wanting to choose wisely, wanting to choose wisely in terms of career, in terms of the jobs, the day-to-day -day jobs that you do that, that facilitate and support your overall, what you would call career, because there's very much of a, a sense of split with you. I mean, it's the case with a lot of us that there's what you do as a job and then there's what you see as your highest career vision, but I'm really feeling that that's quite stark with you at the moment, that... Um, you know, you're really trying to choose wisely about how you spend your time and trying to decide, trying to prioritise and trying to have this upgrade and reshuffle um, to the point where you'll be able to have much more choice in terms of how you spend your time and which things you give more time and energy and focus to. So, in your environment at the moment, you're using your intuition. So, it's possible that all the changes that you've experienced recently have actually made you a little bit more spiritual, have actually made you a little bit more aware at least, a little bit more willing to be open to the possibility that there is an inner guiding light that's very powerful, that your life does have a purpose, that it does does have a course that it needs to go along. Um, it may be that you've even recently seen evidence of, of the fact that you're being guided, synchronicities, things falling into place, things that are bringing you to the point where you're saying, okay, I'm going to have to just trust this journey a little bit, I'm going to have to just trust myself a little bit more. So you're really tuning into yourself and tuning into what am I feeling, what do I really feel about this, what do I really sense about where I need to be, what I need to do, even where, I, where do I need to live. Where is the great? Where am I going to be of the greatest value to others, to the world? And where am I going to receive the most value and appreciation and respect for what I bring? The rewards. You're all about the rewards now, Gemini. You want the rewards. You want to see signs that the rewards are coming. And in July, I do feel that um, there is a possibility that you will begin to see this, or at least begin to see where that could come from. Okay, so let's see what your hopes and fears are. You are hoping for a complete and utter triumph. You are, I know it sounds obvious, <laughs> why wouldn't you want that? But 
it's great to have that in that position because it shows that you're thinking much more clearly and you're much more positive now and that certain things have actually led you to be, um, even though there's a little bit of sadness there, led you to be much clearer about your ability to overcome obstacles and odds and things that have dogged you possibly for years as limitations and um, things that you haven't necessarily, uh, you don't feel that you would have put in your reality consciously had you had, had a choice. But just understand those things have been there for a reason because they've given you discipline, they've given you skills that will be invaluable to you always in the future, they've given you a sense of self-respect as well in being able to manage and balance certain material factors quite heroically at times. Okay, so your final outcome just for July, going along this current trage trajectory of embracing the new beginning, letting go and allowing yourself to trust your intuition. Stand your ground. Okay, so I'm not sure what that's about. I think you all know what that's about, but I'm going to put another card next to it and then I'm going to shuffle to clarify that. Spiritual strength. Okay, great. All right, so... Basically what it's saying is, um, you know, you've had to decide not to compromise on some things that are very important, very valuable to you, things that make you feel valued within yourself, whether that's to do with your creations, your creativity, what you bring to the world, what you really feel you're here for, the thing that you're pregnant with. It could be that you've almost had to forego the emotional connection to really get to focus on what you're doing. And so this is just an affirmation that you need to continue on that path in terms of not necessarily foregoing relationships forever, but focus on what you are, what you're about and what you came here to do. Because from that, you will gain a lot of strength. You will begin to get from within yourself what you feel you needed from a relationship. And that's just, that's wonderful. What a wonderful journey that is to become self-reliant. Okay, so emotionally self-reliant. So for you, July, it's going to be very much about um, valuing yourself rather than looking to the externals to validate your sense of value. Okay, just take that in for a second, Gemini, because that's really important. And we're going to do past, present and future here. Okay, angels, got gods and goddesses deck. Um, past, present and future for Gemini in the month of July. Angel of Finances, that comes up again. And it says, honour and give thanks for the blessings you are about to receive. So there's your new beginning. It's almost as if there's something, some promise of finances or some new contract or some new job or situation or some investment or something coming through that's just kind of given you this sense of, I can have a new beginning. I can see things differently. Things can be different for me. And you're just, you know, you're moving through. The phase you're moving through is... A face of just being really grateful for that. Even being grateful just for the thought of it, just for the promise of it, for the thought, for the idea that things can be different. And where you are now is goddess of the earth, an idea connected to imagination, creativity and nature is coming your way. So look out, it feels as if, and this is right on top of your victory and success over the material world, it looks as if as a result of freeing your mind of some of those concerns you've had, there's a new burst of creativity and a new set of inspirations and ideas that are just coming through now or that are just about to come through that you wouldn't have had if you were embroiled within a, a deep and complicated um, emotional connection and that you wouldn't have had if you were still worrying and worrying and worrying and wringing your hands about finances and thinking that you were going to be trapped forever in your current circumstances. So current vibe for, Jan for uh, July is going to be just notice the inspirations coming through because they could be a sign of things to come in the future that you could manifest and create that will facilitate this complete upgrade of your life because you're not seeing the whole picture yet. It's not just about having some of the material concerns taken away. It's what you're going to build and grow from that base that's it's got such a newness and wondrousness about it. So let's just see future potential. Angel of healing. Okay, the angels have felt your sadness and have shown up today to send you healing. There is healing happening emotionally. There is healing happening physical, physically as well. I feel there's emotion happening on uh, many, many levels through many, many bodies where you may have experienced some um, 
you know, some traumatic feelings around things that have happened, not just recently, but throughout your life. It's like this is a time where you're coming through to being able to um, release much more of that and come back to your original sense of optimism and valuing life and seeing that things can be nice and things can be okay. Okay, that's it, Gemini. Have a great month, and um, I'll see you next month. If you'd like to book a reading with me, um, the links are below the video. And um, yeah, just remember to comment and like and share if you enjoyed this video. Bye.